Hello everyone, uh, this is just a video to keep sharp on my little gaming break here. I'll probably take it down later, but this is a little advertisement video here. This game, Donkey Kong Country Returns, is awesome. The level design is amazing. It's just absolutely crazy. I'm going to show you a little level from uh, level 4, I should say, a stage from level 4. This is 4-3. Right. And you know those old minecart rides from the original Donkey Kong Country? Well, there's quite a few of them in this game, but they've got gotten quite a lot more crazy than they used to be. So, uh, yeah, this is a minecart ride, and there's a mole. He's very moly, and press down to duck inside the cart whenever you get down to the... I mean, whenever you get to those... Uh, very low underpasses so you don't get killed. Yeah, that's a one-hit kill if you ram your face into those things. So, you fall off, that's a one-hit kill. If you hit those barriers, it's a one-hit kill. Gotta duck under here. That O is extremely risky. Oh, you should also jump low to get that puzzle piece down there, but I might have made a mistake. That's okay. I don't know what the puzzle pieces do in the long run, but look at this. Everything just blowing up around me. The, the uh, rails are going down. Got a duck all over the place. And I, yeah, as I was saying, I don't know what the puzzle pieces do or the Kong letters do. They supposedly do something. That piggy up there that you've seen there was a checkpoint. Uh, duck under those. Oh god. Oh my god. Ugh. And careful here. You gotta get this just right. Otherwise, that'll happen. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it again! And I got the checkpoint just a little while ago, so I think I shall be okay. So let's just continue on, give this another shot, and hopefully I won't die. Gently jump on the moles, there we go, and across the gaps. Oh my god, the bombing mole is back! Ah! Woo! Stop doing that! No! Why are you trying to kill me so much? I'm just the monkey, look at him go! And he lands perfectly in the minecart. He's got a big bomb, but this time he hits his face flat into the wall. And jump carefully here, and... <laughs> this is just ridiculous. I've never seen something that looked this ridiculous. But it, it's just so awesome. Woo! And uh, that's the end of the stage. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything that silly? And if you ever get a DK symbol there, just swag or flail your arms with the Wiimote and Nunchuck. So yeah, that should give you an idea on why you want this game. You want to play levels just like that one. No kidding. This game is awesome. Pick it up. Oh, uh, let's do another one from World 2 here. 2-7. Two Title Terror. So, yeah. Loading screen. I curse you with a thousand curses. Okay, so we're here. It's, it's raining. And it's dark. It's kind of frightening. Uh, by the way, if you ever see certain stuff, you can, like, pound the ground by sh uh, shaking your arms, or I should say moving your arms up and down like that to open them. You can find stuff like that puzzle piece in them. Um, uh, this, if you ever get hit by a wave on this one, it's a one-hit kill, so... Yeah, just thought I would say that. Uh, you gotta... Oh, shoot! You gotta protect yourself behind those rocks, so you don't get killed by it. Uh, and that's the gimmick of this stage here. It gets quite a bit frantic uh, later on, you'll see what I mean. These crabs are kind of unique in the way that you have to bounce on them to make them vulnerable and then s slam the ground next to them. Whoa! Didn't mean to flip you back over there, crab. Well, that'll kill him right there. Because he'll, he'll get washed... Oh, never mind! I was going to say he was going to get washed away by the water, but that didn't work. Um, once they're flipped over after a pound, you can kill them normally. Oh, shoot! I forgot to collect those bananas! Yeah, the water washes away bananas and letters and other stuff like that. It also breaks walls like that are cracked like that, so... Yeah, and uh, hit that switch to make a little guard hit. Oh shoot! It's only temporary though, my bad. Uh, to make a little guard for yourself to get protected from the water coming in from the background. Yeah, that's why it's Tidal Terror. So, you can also roll by shaking the Weimer rope or nunchuck while pushing forward, or I should say moving forward in any direction. Or I should say running in any direction, excuse me. That's the better way to put it. And, uh, 
Uh, I'm just gonna run ahead. Um, you can, like, duck and... I was at one life, why did I try that anyway? Um, if you can duck at those smaller rocks in the background there, but if you're standing straight up, you're gonna get killed. So, but when you're ducking, you absolutely can't move at all. So you have to clear out your path before you try and move forward. And, uh, might I add that this game is quite difficult. Uh, yeah, I just thought I would mention that. So if you're not a fan of difficult games, like if that frightens you, like if you're the kind of person who who likes to spam save states when you're playing uh, emulated games, this is definitely not the game for you. Yeah, you really gotta push forward, or I should say, get the hang of stages like this. Oh, and this is the new element to the Donkey Kong Country series. You can grab onto things with the uh, Z button. Uh, that includes grass, barrels, uh, chains, whatever, vines, stuff like that. And this part's pretty cool here, but you can tell the... It's gonna push against that, yeah, it's, it kinda tips it. Um, you can slam on... Oh, not there, pardon me. You can slam on certain parts of the ground to go to bonus areas, like that. Um, so I'm just spending a lot of time explaining this and not enough time playing it. And, you know, the whole point of this was not to give a walkthrough, but it was just to show off this game that's so freaking awesome. Or at least, in my opinion, it is. I think it actually has better design, uh, level design than uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Or at least, in my opinion, it does. It's definitely a, a must-play game if you're if you ever played the, the Donkey Kong Country series. Or any side-scroller in general that you liked. Uh, it's... Incredible, I just... That's all I can say about it. Uh, well, I'm safe inside this cavern. Look out for the snarly teeth! <laughs> those are the silliest looking sharks in the world, I have to say. I just look at their overbite. Their, their teeth hang out of their mouth. It's, it's hilarious. Well, at least I think so. Oh, this end is kind of tricky. You gotta roll off the edge, do a rolling jump. Yeah. Uh, DK barrels. Oh, th th that reminds me. Diddy, you can't play as him individually, but he's like an item, so to speak. He gives you this, uh, he uses his rocket barrel thing that he got from Donkey Kong 64, and he can use that as sort of like a Yoshi flutter jump, so to speak. Uh, so he he's pretty handy in keeping yourself from death, but he's not necessary. He also gives you two extra hits, so that's pretty cool. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, no! Curses foiled again. All those crabs got in my way. Uh, this is the kind of stage that you have to really plan out your movements and not rush, rush through things too quickly. Otherwise, stuff like that happens. So let's just try and finish this stage before the 15-minute time, min uh, time limit thing ends here. And see how it goes. Uh, I should say you can see how it is. And so there's a crab. Please don't give me any diseases, thank you. I'll just take care of you before that happens. And continue on through the stage. Kill these crabs off just to protect myself. Duck here! See, that's what I mean about you have to be very, uh, very careful about what you do and plan ahead on this stage. If it, because if I would've went any further than that, I would've been in quite a bit of trouble. Well, I'm protected here. Oh, this these things are like the bullet bill cannons of the uh, Donkey Kong Country series now. These are like squid cannons or something. By the way, if you're standing next to that window as this, uh, the water rushes through, that's a one-hit kill. So don't do that. I highly don't recommend that you do that. And that's the end of the stage. So I hope you enjoyed this little... Uh, advertisement of sorts for Donkey Kong Country Returns, trust me, you are going to want this game. It has left me laughing hysterically sometimes at the end of some of these stages, at the way that they're set up. I don't want to go delve too far into the game. I think I already delved too far enough with, like, World 3 and World 4, but those are only two of the many crazy stages that, that will await you if you play this game. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you around. Oh, uh, by the way, in before someone asks me to do this game for a walkthrough. Bye-bye!